Welcome to Scripture Seeds, a time to get into God's Word together, to share what it is that He's placing on my heart in hopes that it inspires you to let Him speak to yours. I am no theologian, biblical expert, or historian. I'm simply here to share what it is that I'm hearing from the Lord in my own prayer time in hopes that it may move your heart in some way or even inspire you to do the same. So let's get started. Luke chapter 5 verses 17 through 26. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier? to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God and struck with awe, they said, we have seen incredible things today. The healing of the paralytic. It's a classic and a really good one. It's one of my favorites to insert myself into um, the gospel because there's so many different characters and and, um, roles that you can play, you know, and it's interesting if you enter into prayer with this, um, just let the Lord take it. Let, let, the, let the Lord show you, you know, in your heart right now, in the season that you're in, which of these characters that you are. You could be someone watching. You could be a Pharisee denying or, or doubting. You could be um, the man on the mat, paralyzed, not able to move. You could be the friend moving the paralytic, helping him to get to Jesus. Um, There's so many different things at different points of your life that you could be a different character in this story um, as part of your prayer. But, and it's incredible what the Lord will reveal about your situation or your heart in doing that. Um, But for me, this time around, when I was praying with this one, a couple things really, really jumped out to my heart um, that I wanted to share here. But The first of them being um, the man, the paralyzed man. I guess what what started to come up to my heart when I was praying over this um, was the questions, where am I paralyzed? What parts of my own heart can I still not bring to the Lord? I just wonder, you know, those parts of our hearts that we bring, you know, X, Y, and Z to God, right? But then there's parts of our own heart that we we shy away from bringing to the Lord for whatever reason. Um, We're not able to do it. We're paralyzed um, in that sense. And I just wonder if maybe today he's asking you that same question, um, to reflect on what have you not yet brought to the Lord for healing? Maybe it's a memory. Maybe it's a time from your past that still brings um, hurt. I think the Lord wants you to bring that today to him. 
And if we can't, if we still can't, I wonder um, if the Lord is setting up circumstances, inviting you into relationships with people, new people, people, old friendships um, that maybe need to go deeper, uh, circumstances in life, just life, the things that come up, maybe the Lord is placing people, circumstances in your path that will allow you to bring them to the Lord, those parts of your heart. It was really blowing my mind in prayer when the Lord was revealing this to me about this scripture because it's a whole new way of looking at it. Um, Perhaps the circumstances in your life right now are the very thing that's going to reveal your faith in the Lord, to the Lord, and to yourself. Because I was reflecting about this paralyzed man on a stretcher. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowds, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle of, in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. And so it's, it's in this difficult situation that this group of people is faced with. It is that difficult situation that becomes a source of their healing. I mean, isn't that just crazy to think about? Like it, because they couldn't get to Jesus, um, they end up, right, doing these elaborate thing, lowering, going up to the roof and lowering him down on a stretcher in order to get him in front of Jesus. And it is by doing that, it's not even, you know, it's, yes, they, they realize they need to get in front of Jesus, but it's by the act of what the circumstances bring about, that's what reveals their faith to the Lord. And that is what prompts the Lord to heal their sins. Your sins are forgiven. And isn't that so crazy just how our circumstances or um, the people around us, our community that are bringing us to the Lord, maybe we don't even realize that they are. Um, And maybe it's actually a trial. It's something that looks um, like there's no way this could possibly bring me you know, I don't know if we're going to get there, guys. Like, we have to go on this roof. We got to, you know, but we're going to try because we know that if we get in front of Jesus, he's going to heal us. He has the power to heal us. That is faith. And through doing that, that is what reveals their faith to themselves, I'm sure, and to the Lord because then he, it's what prompts him to forgive their sins. Um, so that was just blowing my mind. <laughs> I think that there's a lot there that you could sit with and, and reflect on. You know, what are those circumstances? Who are those people in your life that maybe, even though it's a seeming, it seems to be a trial at the moment, perhaps it's the very thing that's revealing your deeper faith in the Lord. And that's what's going to bring about the healing that you need for that paralyzed part of your heart. The second thing that really struck me when I was reading it was actually something maybe that you wouldn't expect, but um, toward the end when it says, he stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on and went home glorifying God. So this is right after the Lord says, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on. So that line right there just really jumped out to me. Pick up, he picked up immediately what he had been lying on. He went home glorifying God. What is it that you're lying on? What is it that um, maybe this paralyzed part of your heart takes comfort in, uh, relies on? What is it that you're relying on or that you're lying on? while you're paralyzed in that place or that circumstance or that part of your heart or that relationship even. 
what are you lying on? Because it is through the Lord, through relationship with the Lord, um, that he will heal that and allow you to actually pick that up and walk. Does, I hope that this is translating well because when I heard this in prayer, it just absolutely changed my heart forever. <laughs> the Lord can get you to pick up what it is that you've been lying on paralyzed and actually be able to walk glorifying God. Walk with your mat, the very mat that comforted that paral- those paralyzed years, maybe all the times that it's seemingly, right, is helping you, but yet it's also the very thing that um, you're lying on. God can heal that part of your heart so that you're now picking up whatever it is that you're lying on when you're paralyzed and walk. And the way that I was perceiving this in my prayer is that the Lord was telling me that I can let you pick up the very thing that holds you back um, and have control over it in in the healthy sense of the word, like that in a way that it truly sets you free. So you're no longer paralyzed by that thing. You're no longer, that thing is no longer um, holding you back or, or encouraging you to remain paralyzed. And sometimes I think we, we, we have a tendency to hold on to those things. Um, maybe you've identified earlier when I was asking that question, maybe you've identified the part of your heart that is paralyzed. Um, and I just wonder if you could show it to the Lord um, in great faith and um, then realize that it's the very mat that you're lying on Uh, Maybe it's the circumstances around that situation or people or a relationship. He wants to give you control over your own self and healing in that area, restored healing, so that you can get up, pick up the very thing that's holding you back that you're lying on in this paralyzed part of your heart or relationship or situation and walk freely He wants to set you free. He wants to heal it and set you free. So that thing no longer holds you back. I hope that I'm making sense because it was so vivid to me. um, And it totally changed the way that I viewed um, this reading. It's just a whole other deeper, you know, new way to look at it too. Um, So yeah, I wonder what those places are for you today. All right, that's all I have for you, friends. I will see you next week. Do you believe in the power of conversion stories? Has this show moved you in some way? Join the Branches of the Vine community of supporters to help make this show happen right alongside me. At each level of giving, $5 a month, $10 a month, or $20 a month, you will receive different gifts and bonuses in return for your support. Some levels include an embroidered to grow good baseball cap or a hand-painted Catholic journaling Bible. At all levels, you will gain access to an underground podcast. That's right. A collection of bonus episodes released monthly on different topics that stir my heart. You'll also join our member-only community where we can connect and chat with one another. Visit togrowgood.com slash support or patreon.com slash togrowgood to join today. Both links send you to the same place and both links are live links in today's episode description. So if you just scroll on down, you'll see where and how to join us. Thank you in advance for all of your support and stepping out on the water to wherever he calls us next. Let's see where this goes.